Hi, this is Stacy from the Complete Herbal Guide, and today I'm with Dr. Chalemi from the Health and Spine Wellness Center in Belleville, New Jersey. Today. Sorry about that. We were talking about how we're almost closing to the end of the year, and we wanted to think about different ways that we could help make the new year a better year for everybody. And one of those ways is we were talking about how so many people suffer from pain. Pain is a big deal. When you talk about pain, everyone has experienced it or everyone's going through it. Um, you know, all you need is one thing to happen in your life, either an illness or an, a tra traumatic injury. Anything can provoke pain. And when we go into this new year, we want to feel our best. So we want to feel happy, healthy, and productive. And today, Dr. Chalemi is going to teach us how to do that by talking about pain and different ways that you could actually help your body and help yourself so you don't have to feel this pain as intense or feel it at all for the new and upcoming year of 2020. So Dr. Chalani, can you just tell me a little about yourself? Sure. Um, I am a chiropractor. I've been a chiropractor for 25 years. Um, currently changed my practice into an integrated medical practice. So what that means is we have medical providers, chiropractors, physical therapists, massage therapists, all working together to together create a better treatment plan and a more interactive treatment plan for the patient to get to the bottom line of their pain and the bottom line of their condition to get them healed and treated as fast as humanly possible. Now, what made you so inspired to want to help people? You know, a lot of times we, people like to learn about who the doctor is why he's so compassionate, why he feels an urge to want to help others. Why do you feel an urge to want to help other individuals? So regarding pain and, and function is kind of what I've always uh, aspired to, to help and treat. Uh, um, recently, in, in taking the changeover from my practice into an integrated practice, previously from a chiropractic and physical therapy practice for over 20 years, and we just changed recently. Um, December last year, I had torn my three ligaments, well, my two ligaments of my meniscus and my knee. It's called the unhappy triangle. Anybody who knows what that is. The unhappy triangle usually requires surgery. Um, those three tears usually do that. I had looked into, the first doctor I went to obviously said, okay, pain, they wanted to give you some hard medicine which I was uncomfortable taking, as well as 99% um, surgery was the only option. And looking into different services and what options were out there, I found a regenerative doctor that I know, and we had started to do some, some alternative therapies and surgery and pain. The alternative therapies were doing PRP injections. PRP injection, in case anybody doesn't know, is when you pick the blood. You spin the blood and you re inject it. The top of the blood becomes plasma. And it's the plasma and the proteins that are in that product that get re injected into your body and then you use your own body's healing power to, to regenerate that joint. So we had done that. And then following that, we had done a human cellular tissue product, um, which you know, harvests some umbilical type cells to, to re cushion the joints. In the body, so I had done that. Um, now we are eleven months later, um, and I am fully functioning at the gym, fully functioning with all my exercises and rehab, and I avoided surgery. So I made a pretty quick recovery, actually. So back in May of this year, once I started having all these great positive responses, and what triggered me to change the practice that we have into an integrated practice I wanted to do for others what I had done for myself, save myself from surgery, save myself from going on any kind of pain medicine that might, who knows what kind of road you need once you go down that pain medicine route um, and take that more natural approach so my body's healing itself and doing it in a very effective way and, and uh, I couldn't be more happy to want to help others do the same thing. Void surgery, and very heavy medication. That's great. You know, I've heard so many horror stories of people who've gotten surgery. They felt great in the beginning, and then all of a sudden, you know, uh, 
six months, a year later, a couple of years later, all of a sudden the pain comes back and it comes back three times as worse and they're back to square one all over again after going through traumatic uh, you know, surgery. And they always say, once they cut you open, you're never the same. Once the oxygen goes into your body, they say things change and you just never, your body is never the same. And to have to go through that more than once, and I know people who have done surgery like two, three times for in one same spot, and you know it lasts them for a little while, but then they end up going back, and that runs into a lot of money too. And they're only getting short-term comfort, and they're not really healing themselves. They're putting metal objects and different foreign objects into their body, and it's not it's not really helping this overall uh, situation. Now, when it comes to pain and it comes to PRP, now, does anyone qualify to, to try PRP? Now, what types of situations like for pain, like what people usually go for PRP that are experiencing pain? Sure. So, the typical patient or the typical condition that, that PRP is really, really good for, arthritis. Arthritis is probably one of the number one conditions. Arthritis, bursitis. Your knee joints, your shoulder joints, your elbow joints, some of them are lower back and set joints, all are a great candidate for PRP. It's going to, once you put the injection into the joint, it's going to circulate through the joint and, and help give those, those proteins and those, those growth factors right into that joint. So any of those are conditions, arthritis especially, has had fantastic results. And I know even from my own experiences, when you have pain, you can't function. You can't go every day and function and do your normal activities. And that could be very stressful. And people don't realize it, but 90% of the people who suffer from illness suffer from stress. And stress could be just even caused by not being able to do the things you love in life. Being able one day to be able to be healthy, and then all of a sudden something happens, or in something in your body changes, or an accident, or an injury occurs. And your whole life is just changed because now you're limited in how you feel. Your body, your body starts to change. You get different types of pains, and you can't, you don't even want to roll out of bed. And that could be very that could cause anxiety. That can cause a lot of depression. And it's really it's hard on a person when they experience pain. And I know for myself, I had um, I had bursitis, which is inflammation in my arm. And can you tell them exactly a little bit short term about what bursitis is? Bursitis is inflammation of the bursa um, in the shoulder. Um, and it becomes very painful because the bursa, uh, it's a very small area and it tends to, once it swells up, it takes a long time for that swelling to decrease because we're constantly moving our arms. Everything we do with arms and shoulders, everything we do is constantly moving. So that joint is constantly getting inflamed. So when you add a, a product like the PRP, it really gets into that joint and helps with the inflammation, helps cushion that joint and starts to take that inflammation away. And should have great, great results. Now I know when I went for um, my PRP shot and it helped me tremendously, before I got the PRP shot, I got a Latipane shot. Now that Latipane injection, can you explain to others what that is? For sure. It was it worked great for me because I wasn't even able to lift my arm up. I and mean, now I can go like this. And before I was only able to lift my arm up like this. My mobility was restricted in my left arm. So maybe you can and how it has helped many other people as well. Sure. So lidocaine is um, an aesthetic, but it's 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 honestly it's mostly saline. So it's a very small aesthetic, mostly saline. So a lot of times when it's used for a few different things, it could be used for trigger point injection. So if you have a muscle that's really, really tight and you inject it into the muscle, um, that saline, what that does, it actually, you do it in different areas, the saline actually swells that muscle up and causes those adhesions to break. That little anesthetic helps with the pain control. So a lot of times we like to do a line of injection, even in the shoulder joints, to help decrease that inflammation. Um, Sometimes you could do it prior to PRP, sometimes you do it after, but it helps decrease that inflammation by just getting that joint to calm down and, and let some of the other products work a little bit better. I was really excited because literally seconds after she actually did the injection, the Latakin injection, 
I was actually able to move my arm and she just grabbed my arm. She said, let me see how mobile your arm is. And she went like this. And I just, I was stunned because I have never, it's been years since I've been able to move my arm up. And I waited a long time because I was scared. I, you know, I, you know, at first I went to pain centers and I got pain injections because I got to the point where my pain was so intense. I just wanted to feel better. I didn't care what I was putting in my body. I just wanted the pain to go away. And then Dr. Tolemi told me, if you keep doing that, you're going to have serious problems. Now, can you explain to them what those pain injections do? They are temporary. They do feel good. They take away the pain. But what do they do in the long run, people? So usually those injections are corticosteroids. So corticosteroids, they are good for taking down inflammation. Problem is, it's very short term. And what, what, what it does, it actually eats away at your ligaments. So the more you do it, the more those ligaments become fragile. So that's why they, they suggest a maximum of three. When you do more than three, those ligaments tend to tear. So think about that. If you're putting something in your body that has the potential to tear those ligaments, um, you do it too much. So nobody knows how their ligaments are right now. If it's a weak ligament and you put the cortical similar to it, you could actually make it worse. Um, does it help some people? It does, but the, the, the benefits are, are negated from, from, in my opinion anyway, from what, what the possible damages could be. Whereas you do some responsible pain management, and that's what our practice does, responsible pain management, it's going to use products that are going to be non addictive, non, non destructive, and, and natural to help heal the body naturally, the more natural solutions. So that, that's, that's what we're all about, and that's the way that we're trying to. Out into, into our public, in, into our community, to make the community a better, safer, healthier place. That's great. You know, I got my, my PRP shot and I was starting to feel a lot better already. And, you know, I was basically, my arm felt like a dead arm, basically. And I noticed that each day I started getting more and more and more, um, uh, less mobile, my, my arm. And I wasn't even able to do my full clothes without getting shooting pains going up and down my arm. Now, you now said, you're five days, just so everybody knows, you're five days. I'm only five days. She then. had it. She had an injection on Friday. Yeah. So and She had her first injection of, of three. So um, come Friday, she'll get another injection and follow it up with another one. We're, we're going to tend to do it in a series of threes to really help those ligaments heal, help that joint heal, get the kidney really good in there. And then after that, we're going to be doing the human cellular tissue product on her to really get that joint to, to, to regenerate back to where she was probably when 20 years ago. So our, our, our focus of our practice is the regenerative medicine. And what that is, we want to take patients who are 40, 50, 60, regenerate those joints so they're properly functioning. So when you want to walk up the stage, you can. You want to play with your kids, you can. You want to play with your grandkids, you can. You want to restore your function back to where it should be. So when you're using your good years, your 40s, 50s, and 60s, you have full function, and you don't have to worry about, can I take this step? Can I go down these stairs? Can I, can I walk half a mile? Can I, can I go play soccer? Can I do whatever the tasks or function you want to do? We want to give you part of that life back. And the, and the process starts earlier. So the earlier you come in, it's a, a light arthritis, light degeneration. We're going to try to help treat the treat and that joint now. So the life cycle of a joint, if you have, an, if you have life cycles this, and you come into our practice here, we're going to give you all of that back. We're going to help give you that back. That's, at least that's going to be the attempt. Um, it's, just, it's, a, it's a different way and a different um, a different road for a lot of people, but we're looking to change people for the future. And not just for today, but for today and, and, and tomorrow and on. And the regeneration is kind of what we're about. And, and we think it's going to be the way of the future. People are living longer, staying more active longer. And in order to do that, you got to treat the joints right. Now, for people who, you know, some people are iffy, they feel better when they know that they're dealing with a doctor who knows what he's doing. Can you tell them a little about your prior experience 
how long have you been in this field? How long have you been dealing with patients, you know, with pain and other conditions? So people understand that you're not new to this, that you've right. been in the field a long time. No, we didn't, I've been practicing since 1997, so we're, I'm practicing, this is about 2021. Yeah. So I am practicing almost 25 years. Um, I've seen every kind of patient throughout my throughout my life, and we definitely our traditional office has definitely helped patients consistently for a long, long time. We've done very, very well with that, especially. So in our office, we do regeneration, we do it with the physical therapy, the massage, and all of that together really does create a, a great, great response. And we've had a lot of really, really great responses throughout. This new pro, this new process that we're on gets patients well faster, feel better, and 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 takes care of those joints much, much better. And, and that's really what we're looking for. Now, if people have any questions and they want to contact you, where can they, um, where can they contact you? What, where is your address? What is your facility called? What's your phone number? Sure. So our facility is the Health and Spine Wellness Center. We are located in Belleville, New Jersey. It is North Jersey, in case anybody around the area. But it's very accessible, accessible to all the major highways with 15 minutes to Manhattan, uh, depends on traffic. Um, <laughs> very, very accessible throughout the whole entire uh, northeast of, of New York and New Jersey. Um, phone number is 973-759-3020. Oh, terrific. And if they want to reach you, if they want me to email you a question or something, do you have an email address you can share sure. with everybody? It's Dr. D-R-C-H-I-L-L-E-M-I at health. That's great. And I heard you wrote a book too. You helped co write a book. We did co we did write a book together. So we have several books on um it's a figure of a guy and many, many others. So we're very involved in the body and healing and, and doing things naturally. Um so we've actually wrote written two we've written three books together. And you've written 25 plus books <laughs> over the years. So together, we've, uh, we're, we're very involved in making sure that uh, trying to change patients, trying to change people into making sure they're healthier as possible as you can be, utilizing what God's given us, and, and, and using natural resources as opposed to drugs and medication. That's wonderful. You know, we, we try our, our best to try to help others. And Dr. Chalemi has spent his entire life trying to better the lives of people and, you know, help people. And he saved actually quite a few lives, people who came in the office and, you know, they were on the edge of either having a massive stroke or a heart attack or certain things they were, were going to happen. And he saw it right away. So he has a great eye for seeing out of the box and helping others and, and curing things that, you know, in ways that are healthier, better, and will overall help you in your long term. Now, you know, some Cure, Curing, I don't want to use that word. So oh, right. I know you use the word curing, but okay. we're not going to use the word curing. Uh, we help and treat and, and heal the body, heal itself. Yes. Um, a lot of people come in with different things, and I'm not going to cure any of those. Right. Necessarily cure the condition. But look, specifically, if you're talking specifically chiropractic, um, you're not going to cure it, you're going to help treat it. Right. And, and, and that's how we're going to make that, that difference. Um, we actually had a recently, we're speaking of patients, one of our patients who, who's been a, um, a neuropathy patient. Um, she's had a neuropathy for over five years. She got it non traditionally. She had, she had, uh, she got it for chemo actually. And, and, She's very, very frustrated, and for the first time, she's only with us two weeks. She couldn't feel her feet, right? She couldn't feel her feet. For the first time on, after about three or four visits, I think the third visit or fourth visit, she saw it. She felt her feet for the first time in five years, so those are the kind of patients that, uh, you know, makes, makes going to the office much, much easier every single day. You know, don't if you have a, a pain that you want to you want to get investigated. If you want to feel better, if you want to try to have your your body heal its pain that it's suffering from, then don't put it on the back burner. 
You know, we tend to, as humans, we put things on the back burner no matter how badly or we get scared about, you know, doing something that we don't know too much about. But the only way to figure it out is to ask. So Dr. Chalemi is here and he's always willing to speak with the patient, you know, answer all questions. And he wants to help you. He wants to make that pain, you know, go away the best he possibly can. He wants your body to heal itself and he wants to show you how. So once again, if you have any questions, you can contact him on his email or you can call the, the phone number of the practice, is, which is 973-759-3020. And you could always, you know, go on his Facebook page and get to like it and follow his Facebook page and ask him any questions. He is always looking at his page and he's always willing to answer any questions people may have. We want you to start the new world, this new year coming up. 2022, and we want you to feel your best. Transition to the 2022, feeling your best, and we want to make you your best. So come see us.